Hi everybody, Colleen here with Colleen Beauty and Fashion. So, are you a newcomer to the idea of a capsule wardrobe? Or do you have a capsule wardrobe going and it's time to update it for spring for 2023? If that's what you're looking for, this is the video for you. I'm going to take you through my capsule wardrobe and how I'm gonna update it for spring with some bright new fresh items and colors and hopefully give you some inspiration on how you can do the same in your own wardrobe. So stay tuned, that video is coming right up. So just before we get started, I wanna say thank you to all my subscribers and thank you to you if you're new and you clicked on this video. I am so happy to welcome you. My name is Colleen Youngblood and this is my fashion and beauty channel for mature women. I myself am 60 years old and so I am all about celebrating the beauty of maturity, celebrating the beauty of life, and celebrating our inner and outer beauty together. So that's what my channel is all about. And this video in particular is one, I think this is the third capsule wardrobe video I've done. So I've updated my wardrobe once before and in the winter last year, and now we're gonna update again for the spring. So this particular one is part one. I'm gonna do it in two parts. And in this video, I'm featuring tops, blouses really, bottoms and suits. In a second video, I'll do leisure wear, more leisure style of things, and some of the other fun things that we bring into our wardrobes for spring and summer. So you'll have to pardon my boring outfit today. I'm dressed all in black because basically everything I own is on my bed. So let me grab my dress pants for you then and I'll just show you what I have, what I wore this winter, and what I'm going to be switching to for the summer and spring. So if you saw my first capsule wardrobe, you will recall that I said that one of the things we do is substituting color for color, a different color. And the other thing is if something is worn or overly dated, we buy a fresh new pair. So in this instance, it's buying the fresh new pair. These were the pants that I wore. I think it's three years that I wore them. They were from H&M, and you can see that they're kind of an out-of-date style now, but they're still in pretty good shape. So I will donate these, but I have bought something new. Let me. So here's my new tan color pants. You can see that the color is slightly different. I also had to go down a size, and that's another reason why you will be buying new, is if your size changes, of course. And these are a little bit dressier. They've got the gold zippers. These are from Melanie Lynn. But same kind of idea of a pant. It hits me at the ankle and uh, just really wearable for work. Now that I'm working in the store at Melanie Lynn, I can wear their clothing. I'm supposed to wear their clothing, <laughs> so you'll see a lot of it. But I'll also be buying other things too. But these are my new tan pants for spring and summer. These black wide leg pants, you've seen these in a lot of my videos, if you've been watching my videos. The ones with the built-in buckle and they are very wide leg, as you can see. I adore wide leg pants. These ones are getting a little on the rough worn side, so I will be replacing these, but for now I'm keeping them. So I will let you know when I replace these and I will get another pair of wide leg black pants. I also had a pair of skinny leg trousers. I've already thrown them away because I bought these ones to replace them. So this may look familiar to you. They're exactly the same style of pants from Melanie Lynn. They're called the Amber, and I really like them. So I bought them in several colors. I also have a pair in navy that I'm gonna show become part of my wardrobe now. So again, same style. They're very, but they're not slim leg. They're actually just, you know, your regular leg. Little bit tapered at the bottom. They have a little kick pleat at the ankle. So I really like them. So they are new. So moving on, I have my denim. And I didn't, I don't have them anymore, but I also wore to death, you will have seen in many of my videos, my black leather pants. And black leather is just not something I will wear in the spring and summer, so they'll get put away. And I will bring in some fun kind of maybe floral pants or something to replace them as kind of a lifestyle piece. But just so you know, I haven't forgotten them. 
they've been put away for the season. But let's move on to jeans. So these are my Levi's Relax Fit 501 men's jeans. Now I did a video all about these. They are actually men's jeans, my little trick. If you're able to wear men's jeans, you can find them in the right inseam for you. And they usually are cheaper and they don't have all the rips and tears in them. So I had a whole bunch of reasons why I love these. I will be keeping these for many years, I'm sure. These are a pair of wide leg denim that I just bought from Dynamite. And I love wide leg. I think I said that with the black pants. These are a dark wash. So I will be keeping these, but I'm gonna be putting them away for next winter. And I'm going to buy a pair of light wash wide leg denim jeans. I think for the spring and summer, I prefer a, white, a light wash denim. So I will be replacing these. I will pack them away. And when I buy the new light wash ones, I'll share that with you. So I have one black skirt to share with you. This is my Karl Lagerfeld skirt, which I do love, but here's the thing. I've lost more weight and it's gotten too big on me. So I do have to replace it. I will be buying your classic black pencil skirt. So I will let you know when I replace this one. So let's move on to the suits. Now, I have, I bought two monochrome, not monochrome suits. They're colored suits, obviously, but I bought them to have the monochrome look last year, which was very hot in the fall. It's very hot again for spring and summer. But these colors are too dark. Uh, this beautiful purple suit had the crop jacket. Can you see? And it's a beautiful, beautiful suit. But I won't be able to wear it anymore. I can't wear it at the store. And by next year, it will be out of fashion in the color for sure. So I'm going to sell this suit in consignment. I think that's the right thing to do with it. And then I have this brown one, which I did love and adore. But unfortunately, it's gotten too big for me too. So I will be selling this suit as well. It's a really nice suit. It's only been worn a little bit. So I think it's ripe for the consignment shot. So if I got rid of two colored suits, power suits, what did what am I going to replace them with? Well, the first thing that I bought to replace is this pink suit. And you've probably seen it in a recent video if you've been watching my videos. This color is called Ballerina Pink, which who doesn't love that name, right? And just I just really think it's a pretty color and I think it flatters me. And I do like it a lot. And I do plan on, I've worn it many different ways already, but I love it with black. I love it with white and I've worn it with the pink shirt as well. I love it with navy. Navy and pink is a cool combination right now. So don't be scared of wearing pink. There's lots of ways to wear pink in your wardrobe. You don't have to go head to toe like I do, but a beautiful pink blazer like this one, you'll get tons of wear out of. You could wear it over jeans right now, white jeans in the, in the summer. You could wear it over a cute little dress and dress up your dress. So don't be afraid to invest in a colorful blazer and it just brings your spirits up too. So, so far I have pink, stay tuned. I'll be buying more color in another suit. So I haven't quite decided which color yet, but it'll be coming soon. So let's move on to blazers because I have a lot of blazers. I was working in fundraising until recently. So I was always wearing a blazer and as a result, I have several. I have two black ones. This is one of them. The other one has gold buttons. It's in the wash right now. I will be replacing the gold button one. Um, it's time that I elevate it a little bit. This one is just old. You can see it's a shorter length. It's not really in style anymore. So I'm gonna put it in the consignment shop as well. This one is a tan version, a camel colored version and it has the gold buttons on it. And this, I like it, I'm gonna keep it. It's just not the right color for spring and summer. It's more to me a fall winter shade of camel. So I am gonna keep it, I'll pack it away, but I'm not gonna be wearing it for the season. I'll find a new blazer to replace it. And this one, 
I have had this black and white one for years. If you've watched my videos, you've seen it often. I really do adore this one, but honestly, plaid is not a thing for spring and summer this season, and I'm kind of worn it enough, I think. But I love it. Look at it. It's got the pinstripe inside. It's been a really, really great, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. <laughs> Pack it away. I'll think about it again next fall when I do the fall wardrobe update. Maybe I'll just keep it till then. Isn't that silly? I can't, I just love this one. I don't know why. But anyway, let me know what you think about that choice <laughs> down in the comments below. I love to hear your comments. So let me know what you think about me keeping the plaid one. And while you're at it, if you're liking this video and the content in it and you poke around my channel and you like the other things I do, the shorts and the other long videos, please like and subscribe. And I'm building a community of women just like myself, mature, with we have beauty inside and out. We love to appreciate it and celebrate it. So if that rocks your world like it does mine, please like and subscribe. So now we're going to move on to shirts and blouses. So I have the classic white button down shirt here. This is, pardon the wrinkles, it needs to be ironed. This is my one from Dynamite that's oversized and quite casual. And this is the more fitted one that I have from Susie Shear. Now, I'm going to replace this one, the more fitted one. Um, because of my working in the store, I don't need a fitted one to go under blazers, but they have a lovely white kind of ruched in the middle that I will replace for this one. So that's my plan for that. And then I'm keeping this dynamite oversized white shirt. Everybody needs one of these. You can wear it so many different ways. And if you haven't seen, I think I did a video on just the white shirt. So I'll link all the videos I'm mentioning down below. So you can have a look at them, but this is just too practical to give away and it's still in pretty good shape. Just needs a little ironing. So here's another shirt I'm going to keep. This is a striped Oxford. Now, we don't have anything like this in the store that I work in and they likely won't. It's not a style that they would probably bring in, but I love this shirt and I think it's great for when I'm not working. Um, either going out for lunch or shopping or whatever. Great with jeans. So I'm going to keep this one. For those of you that know me and watch my channel a lot, you know that I love satin blouses. And I still love satin blouses. And here's my collection from last winter. So I put them all on one hanger. <laughs> but let me show you. There was a rust colored one. And I had a green one. I have a green one. A brown one that went with my brown suit and a purple one that went with my purple suit. I also have an off-white one that's in the wash right now that I will be keeping but all of these colors are going. They're all from fall and so I will be replacing them and I will show you what I'm replacing them with. So far I have a lovely navy to go with the new navy pants that I bought. And I also have this beautiful fuchsia pink, which you've seen in my videos, if you've been looking at my videos. Beautiful color, pink is so hot right now. And then of course I'm keeping the off-white one. And I will be buying more colors in this style of shirt because I just adore this style of shirt. I think that the satiny finish really flat, flatters your skin in your face and um, I just, I'm a sucker for them, what can I say? So I have two and I will be buying more. So now let's move on to some fun print blouses. So the two I have for fall, winter last year was, I had this really cute leopard one that I wore a lot. You saw it in many of my videos. And I also had this black and white one, which is kind of a cheetah print. And if you recall, I did mention in the capsule wardrobe video that it's always a great idea to have a black and white print shirt because you can wear it with so many things. So I will be replacing this one for the spring and summer. You've probably already seen it if you've been watching my channel with this little polka dot one. So polka dots are classic spring summer kind of look. 
and this little one in black and white from Mount Lynn. I just bought, but I've worn it several times already. So that's this one is the replacement for this one. This one I think will be going in the trash. I might donate it, but it's it's been around a while, so I have to have a, a good look at it before I donate it. A leopard print blouse will be packed away because I love it, so I'll keep it for next fall. But I have my eye on a snake print blouse for spring summer that we have coming into the store. So I'll probably replace this one with a snake print one so you can stay tuned for that when I buy it. Of course, I'll share it with you. So just a few more things that I've purchased already to add to this spring capsule wardrobe. Some fun little items. This cute little striped sweater. It's kind of a navy and white with gold buttons and it's got the gold zipper. I think it's very elegant looking and very French looking. So I loved it, so I had to have it. So that's one thing I've purchased already. We'll go with my navy pants and of course white pants when they come in the summer. Cute little pair of red shoes. I think I did a short about it. Here's another one that I've just recently purchased. This is a knit vest. Knit vests are really hot this spring and summer. Kind of a throwback to the 70s. Imagine wearing them with wide leg denim or black and with a low slung belt. And I think I did a short about that as well. I also plan to wear this over a skirt or a dress or under a blazer with nothing else underneath it, except for a bra, of course. Um, and I think that, or a little fun jacket. So I plan to get a lot of wear out of this little vest. I really like it. Then this fun little top I bought to go under my pink outfit. You can see it's pink and red. I'm not shy about color and I like pink and red together. So I thought this was a very pretty top with the carnations on it. Very spring looking. And I also bought this little graphic tee, which I just adore. It's black, so of course it's very wearable. You can wear it with jeans or black pants or even, you know, other colors, neutrals that you can wear with. So I've, I've worn it a lot already and I'm really happy with it. Just a really special little fun tee. So that's it. That's part one of my spring capsule wardrobe update. So I hope you enjoyed it and got some inspiration. I think the bottom line is trade out your colors, trade out what's old for something new and fresh, buy a few fun things, and that's the easiest way just to keep updating your capsule over and over and over again. In part two at the end, I will show you all the basics that have stayed. And I'll also do some playing around with all the different outfits you can make, I can make now with what I've purchased of what I kept. So that'll be in part two. So make sure you turn on your notifications so you don't miss that video. But for now, I wanna thank you so much for joining me. I hope you really enjoyed this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you did. And I will see you next time.